Hey folks, how you doing? So let's look at something helpful. The Joy-Con board is designed for prototyping any project involving buttons or joysticks. It's breadboard friendly and has buttons and analog sticks. I previously used a Pro Micro to create a game controller and it was a pretty successful project. For a while now, I have been considering about creating a Bluetooth enabled completely wireless version of that controller. I made Joy-Con with intention of using an ESP32 microcontroller to build a game controller device. I wanted to build a breadboard friendly system that would allow me to swap out the ESP32 board with another board if necessary. In a nutshell, this configuration acts as a foundation or testing platform for game controller project. The Joy-Con board is a straightforward PCB that acts as a breadboard for buttons and analog stick. The buttons are attached with the header pin and ground. When they are pressed, they will function in a pull-down configuration. This board D-pad design is also pretty straightforward. There are 4 buttons on the left D-pad and 4 on the right D-pad and other 8 buttons are located in the center. Additionally, two analog joysticks are positioned on this board left and right side, just above the D-pad. I finished the PCB design and exported the Gerber data, which I then forwarded to PCB Way for samples. PCB order for yellow solder mask with white silk screen PCBs were placed. The PCBs arrived in a week, which was quite quick. As for the quality of PCB, each PCB was produced properly and there were no fault or misprint or anything. Overall quality was super and I recommend you guys for checking them out if you need great PCB service for a less cost. To begin assembling the board, we first install each button and analog stick individually on the PCB. Then we flip the board over and use a soldering iron to connect the pad of all the buttons. We attach a header pin connector to the bottom side before flipping the board one more time. Using a soldering iron, we solder the header pin pads on the board's top side. At last, we add analog joystick thumb cover to both joysticks. Here are the result of this build. And now we can utilize this board to control things or create a game controller. In accordance with the circuit shown here, we connect the ESP32 to every pin on the Joy-Con. There are total of 12 buttons used. The two analog sticks button and 10 regular buttons. Additionally, 3.3 volt and ground are connected to VCC and ground respectively to power the analog stick potentiometers. The code for this project was partially borrowed from ElectroPoint's ESP32 game controller project code, which make use of the ESP32 BLE gamepad library created by Lemming Dev. Link is in video description. The game is currently being played through Bluetooth with a game controller. We must apply controller with 5V of power through USB port in order to connect to it. Once the ESP controller is connected to our smartphone through Bluetooth, we can load any game that accept controller input and have it function immediately. There are some problem with this controller that can be fixed by making small changes to the code, which is a project for later. Stay tuned for the upcoming game controller project. If this video was helpful, then do leave a comment or hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video and peace out.